Good afternoon. My name is Yaya Talabi, and I would like to use this opportunity to share a brief story time. About what you asked? Good question. But before I answer that question, I want to discuss an important character named Patsy from the movie 12 Years a Slave. She was described as a girl full of laughter and a light-hearted, joyous creature. Unfortunately, she suffered abuse in the hands of her master, who also raped her multiple times. There is a particular scene in the movie where Patsy is pleading her master to understand why it was so crucial for her to leave the plantation to find soap to use for showering. Her body language, the expressions on her face, and the fear in her eyes only made it more believable that she deserved every right to feel sweet and clean, and she should not be punished, especially if she returned shortly after. As I watched this scene, a memory flooded back to me. And yes, I am about to answer your question. So, in 2015, my high school graduation gift was the opportunity to travel with my church group to South Africa. On our way, we stopped at customs in London, England. In my hand, I had all the necessary documents, such as my passport and my birth certificate, which I needed for the process of clearing to go smoothly. But most importantly, I had a smile on my face, despite the fact that it was early in the morning. All the teenagers who had gone through before me were lighter than me in complexion, and they were not asked any questions. However, when it was my turn, the police official looked at me from head to toe, looked at all my documents twice, and asked me to step aside. Next, he proceeded to ask me a series of questions that included, do my parents know where I am? What was the purpose of me coming to London? And oh, he was not done. Then he asked me to call my mother, and mind you, at the time I placed the call, it was 4 a.m. in Houston, Texas. The officer asked my mother to verify all the answers that he asked me. He also asked her to verify my birth date and if she knew that I was not traveling alone. I felt ambushed and was generally confused. I did not understand why I was being quizzed while on vacation. And yes, this was my exact reaction. The connection between the scene and 12 Years a Slave and my encounter with the police officer is that we had to justify our actions, despite the fact that our actions were pure and understandable. Patsy was an African-American slave who was not only held in bondage by her master, but was the fastest and most productive cotton picker on her master's plantation. So why does she have to justify going next door to get soap to be clean when no one wants to inhale the smell of labor? She not only had to justify her intentions of getting the soap and leaving the plantation, but also beg for her master's forgiveness to avoid beating. Similarly, I am a Nigerian, South African, and Namibian, hence the background, and I had proven that I had all the documents that would allow me to enter London, yet I was treated unfairly and seen as a black girl with a darker skin tone, and therefore I did not belong. The police officer judged my skin color and perceived the idea that I was out of place and different from the other teenagers. I will end by saying, despite being discriminated, I did enjoy my trip. Thank you.